For a concealed installation, I'll use a set of gross bearing arms and suspension rails. The set has a load capacity of 130 kg per cabinet. It is made completely of steel. The cabinet load would in fact be distributed on the three mounting studs and one chipboard. I need to temporarily uninstall the door to easily place the back panel, then install the mounting bearing arms. My back panel is cut out of a thin hardwood board. Placed against the support fillers, I can now screw it on. Allocate and mark the bearing arm studs. Then draw at recommended distance with a 10mm wood bit. And I mustn't draw further than 12mm deep. I also create two holes on the back panel as per measurement for later adjustment. I will now drill through the bottom cornered hole and drive a 3.5 by 20 mm screw. I will place an adjustable internal shelf. I need to fill all my pocket holes. Some white wood fillers will do. I fill all the visible holes using a scraper. I had called my good friend Clement and asked him to help me mount the units on the wall. I needed to be at 200 mm high of the floor. So we measure and locate the supporting rail height from one side. Then I project a straight horizontal line. Then I mark the screws. I draw the holes on the concrete wall for the screws using an electronic bush drill. I place the anchors in the holes, position the rail, put the screws, then drive them in. I also need to install a floating fixed shelf above the cabinet, leaving enough space for a standard size TV to fit between. The unit carcass and the floating shelf are now ready to be mounted. To mount the carcass, I must release the bearing arm middle screws completely so they can lean back and easily hook on the rails. We bring the carcass to the wall, connect the hooks to the rails making sure both sides are well hooked and secured. There will be a gap between the wall and the cabinet. I must now tighten the screws from the inside of the cabinet through the holes I had previously made. Now the cabinet is closer to the wall. We then place the floating shelf. I can now touch it up with a nice coat of paint. Once the paint is dry, I place the internal shelf. We bring the door and knock it on back to the carcass and attach the cast lifts again. Now, it's done. You can find further details on the cabinets we just made, including technical drawings, cutting lists, tools and materials data sheets on diazideas.com. I hope you have enjoyed this demo. Don't forget to like and follow us, and subscribe to the channel for more informative demos and ideas. Keep well, and see you soon.